Brought to you by DigiKey and Unicorn. Thanks, DigiKey. This week it is Amphenol. Anita, what is the NPI new product introduction of the week this week? Um, okay, so this week we're looking at um, some Amphenol. We've done Amphenol sensors, but today we're going to do Amphenol cable glands. These are really cool cable glands, and you're like, what's a cable gland? I'm going to tell you real soon. But these are metal cable glands with um, uh, not only are they metal themselves, not plastic, so they're really durable. Um, but they have a metal spring inside, so they can also do um, electromagnetic uh, shielding against the um, metal uh, braid inside of a cable. Okay, so um, one of the things we talked about last week is when you build electronics, you have to get an enclosure for them. And, you know, when I was first starting, there was, like, no such thing as a 3D printer. Um, and if you wanted like an enclosure, like maybe you could use a mint tin or something that, that would be, you know, an off the shelf enclosure that you could modify. Um, the problem is that yeah, these are a real pain because you have to like hand cut each mint tin. So, um, you know, if you're manufacturing a product at large scale, you should go and get uh, injection molding, um, or metal bending to get a custom enclosure made. But the, um, upfront costs of injection molding basically make it so it's like if you're making less than 10,000 pieces it's not really worth it I mean it might be worth it if you really need a um, enclosure that's injection molded but for the most part if you're only making a couple hundred of something it's best to see if you can use an off-the-shelf enclosure um, which I've done for some projects so if you go to Jiki they have all sorts of boxes um, made out of metal made out of plastic with clear cases with mounting holes whatever custom custom and um, you can also use these and sometimes they have these little inserts um, that come with them and then you can you know panel mount um, like in this case I was doing um, uh, headphone jacks to use as a um, signal input for my this lipo uh, solar charger monitor I was making um, the problem is that if you're doing that um, if you're just like drilling holes and, and connecting random connectors you're not going to get good ingress protection and this is important if you're doing stuff that's going to go outside that's going to be in a dusty environment that's in a workshop or in a factory or just something that has to last a long time and um we do projects that people do outdoors because folks want to do solar sensing iot projects that are in the field um in which case we suggest and we've used cable glands uh, i really like cable glands because they're such a good low cost, easy solution. Um, there's two pieces. This is a nice cutaway that Noam Pedro did for a project. Um, you can fit a cable through if you want the cable to basically leave the enclosure for, for sensing or for power, uh, input or ethernet, whatever, USB. And then the two pieces, uh, they come apart, you put your cable through. And then when you screw the pieces together over the wall of the enclosure, um, there's an O-ring and a gasket, which I'll, I'll show on the overhead in a bit, that um, kind of squeeze together, grip against the cable, and make a weatherproof or waterproof uh, connection. And these are good for both inputs and outputs. Like in this case, I'll sh I'm showing an enclosure that has um, two cable glands on it. You ha I have one for data, for some sensing. It's the it's actually not the right kind of cable to use, FYI, but it was just doing a quick demo. Um, that you could use it, maybe if you wrapped it in shrink wrap, that would give it more, it had to be round so that the cable gland actually has something to grip onto. But the USB cable would absolutely just work because it's a round cable. Um, so you do have to use like a, a standard round cable, you can't use a ribbon cable or like a flat flex or FP, FFC or something. Um, so Amphenol uses... Uh, has a lot of different cable glands, and they also have a, a demo. Um, plastic ones, metal ones, ones for like super thick connections, ones with square holes in them, uh, good stuff. The ones we're looking at today are the EMC series, and so what I like is not only do they have the two screwing together pieces and the O-ring, and inside there's the, the gasket piece, but there's also that um, metal flex layer, which, again, you know, they have lots of um, different... Uh, cable glands that are made out of plastic, but if you need, if you have a metal enclosure and you want to ground the shield of the cable, the outside of the cable or the inside shield of the cable, 
to the enclosure, this kind of solves that problem without you having to like pull the shield out, solder to it, tie it to some part of the enclosure that um, will provide that earth ground. So I kind of like it's it's a very elegant solution um, to how to provide a electromagnetic shielding through the cable. So there's three versions. Um, essentially, the difference is they all have the same, um, I think they have all the same mounting hole size. Maybe one's a little larger. But basically, they can handle, um, if you look at the bottom of each one, it says the screw thread. So there's one that does 8 to 12 millimeter diameter, one that does 10 to 14, and then one that does 14 to 17 and a half. So, you know, larger cables, um, but you can pick the one of the three, whichever one. You definitely need to have your um, cable match within that uh, diameter because when you attach the cable gland together, it needs to squeeze against the um, outer edge of the cable and that's how it makes the seal. Okay, um, next up, uh, here's the data sheet. They'll show you the recommended panel cutout um, for each one. Like I said, the panel cutout's the same. They show you at the top the, the nut, the seal, the spring, the shell and the O-ring, all you know, four pieces. It'll the O-ring seals it against the enclosure. The seal um, c collapses against the cable itself and, and makes it weatherproof. And this gives you, I think, an IP68 or 67. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, seal, so it's good for it's totally dustproof, and it's good for Im like immersion in water. Like that's how good of a seal you're going to get. So maybe I'll just show on the overhead real fast how these work. So this is the, the gasket piece. So it's like a nice thick piece of like a silicone rubber. And um, then you can see the metal spring inside. Like I said, this is, if you want uh, electromagnetic shielding, there you go. If you want electromagnetic shielding, then you strip the wire, you slip it through, and then this will grip onto it and make full 360 degree contact. And then this is the um, O-ring that goes against the enclosure to give you um, the IP68 against the enclosure as well. These are like really beautiful. Okay, before we made... go to the DigiKey page, can you mm -hmm. put that back on there? I guess so. Before we go to the DigiKey page and the um, uh, video that we're going to show, yeah. how do you get the USB connector through the strain relief? Um, it depends. Sometimes, you know, if your connector is narrow enough, it'll go through. Um, otherwise, sometimes you have to get, um, you have to like crimp your own cables. Like especially with Ethernet, um, I don't remember how I did it with this one. Yeah, maybe just went through. It could have been through. It could, it could have been that I, I just cut it and soldered on the other end, and I put a DIY connector on the end. Right. Usually, if you're using cable glands, you're also totally into like making your own connectors. All right. Available to you keep. Yes, they have them. All three versions in stock. Okay, and then we have a uh, short video that we're gonna play. The EMC cable gland has remarkable feature of shielding and waterproofing by utilizing a conductive internal spring that directly contacts with the cable's shield, compressing the cable seal, respectively. The internal spring is made of stainless steel which offers reliable spring force, thus, guarantees connectivity. Perfect for harsh and humid environments to provide waterproofing, moisture proofing, and vapor. Yeah.